YouTubes, how's it going? Um, the sacrifices I make for you guys, unbelievable. He talks very lightly, softly, um, but anyways, uh, I have completed this scenario twice, uh, which I thought was on screen, watch this, watch this. One fell stroke to the abdomen, and you're gone. That is sick. I do enjoy that, seeing that from Qualtamok. Uh, but Fraps and my computer pulled a Quetzalcoatl. I mean, this is the third time recording this scenario, not because I failed or anything. This is my computer did. mean to free Tenochtitlan, then we will fight alongside you. Many Aztecs are held prisoner to the north. They would join us as well. All right, so... Um, what happened was I recorded this scenario, I completed it, take down the wonder in one part, and my game froze on me, right, uh, as on the You Are Victorious screen, so I lost the footage, and then the next time, Fraps didn't record because I had to, like, put my computer to sleep for a little bit, and then get it to reboot again, so, uh, Fraps wasn't working because I had to put it to sleep, so it didn't register. There are transports on the beach ahead. But they are guarded. We will need several Aztec warriors to defeat them. Alright, so what you want to do with this Eagle Warrior, you want to put all your other guys on no attack stance, and you want to use this guy as bait. Once again, Eagle Warriors, the near extinct species being used as bait over and over again. I know, uh, PETA, you're probably not enjoying this, but this is just what I have to do for my own survival. I mean, we can't be losing the macaws, so we got to start with, you know. Getting these uh, skirmishers and pikemen and whatnot, jaguar warriors on the ships. All right, so everybody's away now, and we can sneak off away from these Tlaxcala and Eagle warriors that got tricked out of their minds. We're gonna head across this uh, part of the Lake Stacoco, and then we can take care of the two, two conquistadors that are on the other side. Head on to the other side, and uh, with, when taking these guys out. Uh, you just want to have your elite skirmishers do a lot of the work and draw most of the fire considering they have extra added uh, armor against um, uh, non-melee ranged units. So we're going to separate these transport ships, get them out of the way, so and the put city? these guys in aggressive stance. Up trouble, no doubt. And oh, you know what, this is unbelievable. Um, <laughs> both of these conquistadors actually hit, and they hit Qualtemoc. Um, but that's alright. I've had scenarios where he hasn't lost a single hit point, so I can do this. Um, and I'm just, <laughs> I'm fuming inside right now, but I try to hold it in for you guys. And, um, so he has 22 hit points. What you can do with these Jaguars? Flash clan priest. We must be cautious. Mm. I wonder what would happen if we opened that Jaguar pen. Was not, you know, expecting the prolonged hmm there. Uh, tasty, something like that. So you just want to stay away from these jaguars until they seep off into the the black abyss there. Uh, you want to continue to bring your units up here and keep them in an aggressive stance for the time being. You're going to run to an onger now. And I'm going to separate Qualtamok. You know what? That was not smart on your part. Uh, you just want to kill these guys. You want to keep Qualtamok over here. Uh, get this Onager out of the way. Get Qualtemoc out of the way because you're going to need these two guys to take down the Wonder eventually. And yes, I'm already referring to the Wonder. I will be completing this scenario in this part. That was a stupid move. That was an unintelligent, ill-advised move you made there, Onager. You do not need to do that and damage your own, your own allies, your own brothers. And I don't even know how you're working, to be honest with you. You're going to be going through shallows now. Okay, you're going to be going through shallows now with wooden wheels. I don't I can understand how a human probably seep through the water a little bit, seep through the, the blades of grass and hit the bottom and then walk across. I don't really understand how the onager functions. Um, so we're just getting a little glitchiness because this is the first thing I'm doing after restarting my computer uh, in order to get fraps working up again. So you want to hug these shallows very tightly. Um, be aware of t where Talashkala's encampment is. It's it's all along this this small strip of land, uh, west. Montezuma was tricked by the Spanish. Vengeance shall be. So ours. once you get to a certain point, uh, I guess I forgot about. That. I didn't even. You'll get these eagle warriors. You're gonna need more eagle warriors. that are gonna help you out against the conquistadors later on because you're gonna need speed to fight against speed. Speed will kill you in this scenario um, because you're gonna be going through gates and whatnot of the conquered Aztecs. 
um, and that will notify conquistadors and you're going to need speed to combat uh, the fight against those conquistadors. So you're going to keep them on no attack stance for right now. Uh, make your Onager team 2 and your Quatamok team 1 because those are your two most important units if you lose one of them. Uh, the scenario is uh, almost impossible to do in the fashion that I like to do it as. Alright, so stay away from this watchtower. Or, um, well, yeah, watchtower right there. Uh, you can, you should be able to get away from them. And you're going to come upon your the second objective, um, rescuing your Aztec brothers or whatever, your Aztec prisoners. The Tlaxcalans are prisoners as well, so it's kind of confusing. And you can use them to take down this palisade wall and then fight off what remains of... Vengeance shall be ours. We can gather our strength across the lake, but to get there, we must steal a transport from Tenochtitlan. All right, so you're going to get hit from Arbalist from this side and uh, Eagle Warriors from that side. So what you want to do is you want to separate Qualtamok. Oh, crap. All right, so make sure they're in aggressive stance for sure. Um, and make sure these guys are in aggressive stance as well. Um, and I don't know where Qualtamok is. One, get out of there. Get out of there. All right, you're going to need him, and he cannot die. He cannot get any more hit points taken off of him because we desperately need him. All right, so now we want to regroup, send the rest of your guys over here. Um, keep one and two inside this pen now. And you want to use all the lead skirmishers that you can uh, that you have remaining uh, to take down this conquered Aztec galley that will pester you, will, will damage your uh, oh, will damage Qualtemoc, and will damage the uh, Onager that you have if you leave him on the bridge, which you ideally want to do. Um, later on because you're going to be fighting against conquistadors and you want to have a place to fall back to So this will take a little bit of time, but it's going to pay off in the end. So we're just going to wait here for a while uh, We're going to put these two guys um, on no attack stance No attack stance and no attack stance Even though Qualtamok is very valuable You're going to need him to take out the the wonder that you're going to come upon a little bit later on So this war galley is going to be done and now, oh, needs another hit in there. All right, that should satisfy it. There we go. Okay, so now with these these units, what you want to do is you want to send them down here, and you're going to get into a fight with Cortez. Uh, it's going to be a couple of mangonels. I believe it has three mangonels, a missionary, and about nine conquistadors. The nice thing about not going down here and rushing it over here is that um, instead of having halberdiers and champions and whatnot um, fight against you you're instead going to get uh, just the conquistadors that you expected to get um, see if this draws them in at all no so uh, make sure you can just get all these con these elite skirmishers that's not how many elite skirmishers I have Oop, that's not what I meant to do either um, and get them squared away so they can start attacking this wall uh, and now you're going to get into a fight with these conquistadors. Uh, usually attacking this wall with melee units does that for you and that will trigger them. But if you get too close to this dock, that will also trigger these conquistadors as well. It's not really that important when you trigger them or not. <coughs> you have enough units to deal with them in the end. So I'll get rid of this soon. I'm just going to keep these guys right now up there because I don't want to... You know, run into any situation where my conquistadors get in the mix. And actually, you know, I'm going to bring the Onager down. I can deal with, uh, oh crap. Alright, so what you can do now is you can draw this Mangonel to a point where he comes inside this little walled off area. Then you can rush these Eagle Warriors, um, and to do some fighting for you. Take out this, this Mangonel real quickly. Okay, now that you got the attention of these conquistadors, you can go out and. Uh, full out assault against these guys and you're also going to get some naval units now which you the game expected you to use um, in taking down uh, Montezuma, uh, Cortez's wonder with uh, your own base and whatnot so now we're getting close to some conquered Aztec castles you want to stay away from those and we're also going to be getting some missionaries here, here pretty soon as well and this is not a good matchup. The Eagle Warriors are not too great against these Conquistadors. You want to ideally use Pikemen or your Jaguar Warriors. So we're going to use, send them over here, draw them into some um, Elite Skirmisher Fire. And we can use this Onager to take out whatever wall, that, that wall. Alright, so that should be in range. And oh my gosh, that was surprising. 
All right, so all right, get these guys out of here. Get these guys out of here. Let's hustle. Let's hustle. There are my eagle warriors. I did not find you. All right, so kill these conquistadors. Don't allow them to get through this gate. And it looks like they did. So we're just gonna have to rush back here. They have a missionary coming here pretty soon, I would say. Um, and make sure you're using Eagle Warriors to hustle against these cocky stores. They will be the ones that will allow you uh, to get a, a hidden or two against them. If you use the Jaguar Warriors or the Elite Skirmishers, or not the Elite Skirmishers, the Pikemen, you probably won't catch up to them. So we're just going to keep weeding that down and the the Wanderers over there, obviously, and we have a sight on that. Uh, they have a missionary or two that we still have to worry about. You could... No, actually, you couldn't. Um, make sure he's still firing. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing a little bit. Still got a little bit of a cough. Scratchy throat. And we're just going to wait this out right now. So you can send Qualtamok down here in the middle of these bridges. Uh, nothing too precarious, though. You don't want to jump the gun too quickly. Um, and we're just going to wait now. We're just going to wait it out. And uh, we're going to send these guys in first because I believe there still is probably some conquistadors and a missionary to deal with. Before doing some more aggressiveness, uh, aggressive assaults um, onto the Wonder and whatnot. So we're going to unite these guys and they're going to be our main assault against the Wonder. Having them two wor uh, work together will we'll definitely uh, negate any additional building that that villager on the wonder uh, is going to be doing whatsoever so we can leave them here uh, just to guard any units make sure no missionaries come uh, we can use this little open path to send them through here okay and so now talking about strategy about taking down this wonder this wonder is obviously not completely exposed or not 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 completely exposed but not um Completely unguarded, they have this this conquered Aztec uh, castle there that you would think would be in range to take down any melee units that you would use. Uh, we do have this Onager as well, though, so we will be set anyway. <clears throat> but what you can do is, because there's elevation created on all sides of this wonder, uh, what you can do is you can just send a Jaguar Warrior in right here. And because of this elevation, that increases the distance in which a castle needs to fire at you and make contact with you. So with that being said, uh, it's an additional length for uh, the castle to fire. You, the castle won't be able to hit your own melee units, so even if you have a couple melee units with you, a couple Eagle Warriors, you will be able to complete this scenario. If you have an Elite Skirmisher and Eagle Warrior, still be able to complete it, because you can kill this villager with that Elite Skirmisher, leaving an Eagle Warrior to slowly but surely take down this wonder. So I'm not going to do much talk right now. My throat's getting real dry. So I'm just going to let you enjoy the sounds and sights of me taking down this final wonder. And then we're going to watch the cutscene and end La Noche Triste. The fourth scenario in the Montezuma campaign and only part 10 of this walkthrough. So we're flying by, flying through this. Definitely no Attila the Hun where the Barbarian Beth the Thrall. The Thrall full take took 10 parts. And I've gone through four scenarios in 10 parts. So you're done. Sorry, villager. Supremacy is not helping out for you right now. He does have 80 hit points, which is amazing. And that would be it for him. Spanish thought that Tignatitlan was theirs, but they did not count on the strength and courage of Aztec warriors. And I say denied. That's all I have to say about um, this operation. It failed for Montezuma. Resistance is not completely... Um, uh, rid of in terms of Tlaxcala and Cortez, but that will be decided in the later scenarios. So let Spanish you guys watch this. called it La Noche Triste, which meant the night of sorrows in their language. At first, the Spanish barricaded themselves in our homes and palaces, but we continuously attacked their quarters with stones, slings, and arrows. We drove the Spanish and Tlaxcalans through the streets of Tenochtitlan and across the three bridges or over the walls into Lake Texcoco. Thousands died. Those Spanish that were not killed by macanas or javelins were drowned by the weight of the treasure they refused to leave behind. Tenochtitlan lay in ruin, but the city was ours again. 
Many brave Aztec warriors died that night as well, including noble Montezuma. The Spanish claimed that our own people had killed him with thrown stones. Thus, it was a night of sorrows for us as well. So says Cuauhtémoc, defender of the Okay, so now he says defender of Tenochtitlan. He's getting higher rank there, but it's a quick scenario. I did it two minutes faster than my previous time. I'm going to end it right now. My throat's getting scratchy. I need to get something to drink. Hopefully this one helped you out, and we'll be moving on to the Boiling Lake, the fifth scenario in the 11th part. Oh, this Montezuma walkthrough. Uh, just forego any other base expansion base building that you can do on that small strip of land down to the eastern side of the map and just go right ahead for that wonder um, and forget about the Tlaxcalans. So that's it for part 10 and the fourth scenario of the No State Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed it.